Want to take you way up north now is going to be putting some pieces together here in the forecast. There's this snail like looking feature. It's an upper level disturbance way up in Canada. This is actually going to move down to the south and east, so that's going to track toward the Great Lakes in the northeast. And as that happens, it's going to drop a cold front way down in the southeastern part of the country, but that cold front will become stationary there. It's not going to push through South Texas. The the reason I talk about this front is because that may be a player down the road on the future of Invest 91L. That's the tropical wave we've been following. It's right over Central America here. It's going to move over Mexico tomorrow and over the weekend, probably find itself in the Bay of Campeche, where the National Hurricane Center is saying this has a 30% chance to develop between now and next Wednesday. And I'll tell you this. This morning, this development zone was a lot smaller. They have expanded that to basically include the entire western half of the Gulf of Mexico. So this is going to be for next week. This front may have a play in deflecting a possible system either west or east. So we'll have to pay attention to that as well as exactly where this system may develop. It's pretty sloppy right now. And at this point, you can't really trust one model that shows it hitting a city that you know. They're going to be all over the place until this thing starts to develop. So at this point it is still something to watch very closely and there's really no way to predict exactly what it's going to do for a specific location. Larry is the other player in the Atlantic. This is going to be a major hurricane over the weekend. It will bend to the north toward Bermuda. This is not though a threat for the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to be hot this week.